welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen how's it all going um i've only played the one game due to my little mishap with the inter game um that was against inverness calafissel we won 4-1 i did exactly what i said i was going to do it took out a few of the new guys um so we only had motta and diego costa uh, uh diego costa douglas costa uh, Douglas Costa got himself a goal, Caesar Quinn got two, and uh, Avramides got himself one. They got a 60-second minute goal, but it was for nothing really. So, um, hopefully that was the issue. Now, I will briefly explain why I put everybody in. Basically, I thought that uh, despite, you know, what everybody knows, that if you put too many players in, it can mess it up. I thought we were just too good for the Scottish League and nobody would have a chance even with us, with our, you know, poor communication and all the little things that have an effect. Turns out, obviously, that was not the case. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll ease it in like you meant to. Um, at the moment, we are in the pack um, between, I would say, like top six, St. Mirren, all the way to Celtic. There's only, like, what, five points? We're a point behind Celtic. We will get it back. There's, I, I have no doubt about the league. I really don't. Partick Thistle are scoring loads. I've got a feeling they may have battered Morton. Let's have a quick look. 4-0. Four, see, 4-4-3. Four, four, They've not... That's really impressive. Um, even when they lost, they scored two. So they're scoring a lot of goals. But at the end of the day... They need to get the points. But we'll, we'll get back up there. I'm not worried about that at all. However, Champions League, I am worried. Um, I'm fully expect Inter to win both games. And if that does happen, we need to win one of these games. Um, ideally, Inter and Anderlecht draw both. And then it's on our Inter game. But Real Madrid twice today. It's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, we are in Spain and we are using this formation. Um, the team is uh, Silva, Aino, Vega, Woolley, Borfoot Jackson, Thompson, Dembele, Quinn, Douglas Costa, Nori and Avramides. Nori's on the left because Yanazai is injured. Uh, Quinn's in because McVitie is injured. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you um, Tom Woolley as well because... He has improved massively, heading 17, marking 14, tackling 14, 18 determination, 13 positioning, that's the only thing I'd really, mm. but Tom Woolley is a fantastic, fantastic defender, so hopefully he can uh, show what he's worth today, and uh, fingers crossed Dembele's poor morale doesn't start affecting things, at the moment I'm considering dropping him, until he decides he wants to stay at Rangers. Um, at the moment, he is becoming a massive pain in the backside. But we're not going to let that affect us. We're in Spain. We're enjoying the sun. You know, we're uh, chilling out, eating tapas and all the rest of it. It's, is there any t cruisers still there? Rodriguez. Oh. He's still pretty bloody good. Um Let's have a look at their striker. 23 year old Italian. Oh, it's pretty bloody good. Pretty good. This could be interesting. Um, away for the first game as well. Which uh, doesn't help anything. I did notice they've got a couple of people who are injured. We could move into a qualification. Uh, no, we're underdogs. I know we're underdogs and I've got faith. Although we're underdogs, I've got faith in you. If we can get a draw here, if we can draw both our games, then I'll be happy. I really will. And if Inter draw one of their games, I will be happy. But I can't see that happening. Now, if we lose both and Inter win both, I've, it's more than likely we're going to be playing Europa. Which, oh, James. Right. Cruz ends up with it. Berardi. I'm not even going to try his name. Horta. Ah. Oh. Look at the speed they're playing at. One nil to Real Madrid. Yeah, um, like I was saying, if Inter win both of their games and we lose both, 
will end up in the Europa and I think that might be a little bit of a blessing in disguise because as I said last episode I think I don't know whether it was in the bit that I accidentally deleted um, we I think we can really challenge for the Euro uh, and maybe that would give us enough money and enough reputation maybe of an increase just to uh, make the push in the Champions League Silver's just tipped that onto the post and I'm considering counter Let's do it. As Aino uh, throws it away, literally, and uh, Carmagnan comes at us. James Rodriguez, two 0 to Real Madrid, but as it stands, into a still draw into Anderlecht, which is very good for us. Very good indeed. He's just ran past two defenders at Carmagnan, whatever the hell his name is, and Rodriguez puts it into top corner. Silver couldn't do anything about it. We haven't even had a shot yet. This is a. This could be very. This proves that we're just not capable of uh, pushing in the Champions League, really. You know, obviously, the English teams are the scary teams, but Real Madrid are turning us over here massively. And that's free. Uh, let's have a quick look, see what we can do. Right, let's stop clearing the balls. Slow down the pace. Drop a little deeper. Yeah, close down less. Let, let them have pot shots. Just try and try and keep try and keep the ball a little bit. It's a bit more negative, but maybe that's what we need. It's three 0 That's one hell of a cross. Put down by Horta. Rodriguez uh, down to Baradi, who puts it in. Mm. Horrible group. Definitely group of death. Um, poor Anderlecht, but yeah, I think we're firmly going to be third. I don't. Uh, I, I don't. I still don't get why we uh, got first seed. Oh, for God's sake! Let's go structured. It's four 0 at half time. They're just running riot with us. There's nothing we can do here. Vegas on 6.0. Aina's on... Look at the... Everybody is doing atrocious. That's absolutely terrible. What do I do? What do I do? Right, Mata for Vega. Sterling for Aino. I'm going to do all three subs. Right, let's get Fortowness four four on for uh, Douglas Costa as well. I know it's three subs, but we need something different because this is not working at the moment. Hopefully we can start at least showing what we're capable of. It's overall disappointing. Well, he's got the ball. Right, Nori, come on. Let's work something. We've only had one chance. Both with Jackson. Quinn, come on. Thread it through. Thread it through. Is the issue Dembele? Is it because his morale's so low? He's playing terrible. And that's affecting the whole dynamic. It might be. That might be a contributing factor. And... Uh, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to, I think I'll drop him. Uh, I'm not going to sell him. I'm going to just wait until he's happy to stay at Rangers again. And if he isn't, then I may have to cash in 11 mil. Um, I just don't want to get rid of him. He's such a good player and he's got potential still to go further. And for me, this has a shot there. We've come, come into it a tiny bit, but 31 shots for Real Madrid. We've had six. And that shows the golfing class right there. Luckily for us, as the last minute ticks down, Inter have been held by Anderlecht. Now that is a result. Uh, obviously, ours is atrocious, but the fact that Inter got held, where were Inter were at home as well. Anderlecht, if you can beat them, at, if you can beat them at your place, hopefully we can beat them at our place as well. Um, so yeah, that's disappointing. I'm expecting the next game to be a defeat as well. So 
stand by for that one. But we can only hope, eh? The Ibrox is a fortress after all. See you in a second. Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen. I found our problem. I don't know where it's come from. I don't know how it's happened. But our away form is terrible. We haven't won, won one away game. We've drew two and lost three. Um, at home, one or six. So, what's going on? Um, I keep looking at all the uh, analysis after, and I don't know what's happened. I really don't understand it personally. But our away form is really letting us down at the moment. Um, we are sitting second, which isn't too bad. I say it's not too bad. I actually know it's terrible. We should not be one point behind Hearts. But on a plus note, Celtic are uh, fourth at the moment with Partick Thistle. The uh, league is actually quite close as it stands, which is disappointing on our part. Um, I played two games. We lost to Hearts 1-0. They scored in the second minute and uh, nothing else happened. We then played at home to Dundee and we won 2-0, Avramides with the brace. Now, I've been looking at the players individually. Um, over the last five games, Sterling has been playing 7.44, Christie 7.2, Porfrey Jackson 6.6, Aino 6.5. Now, I know that includes the Real Madrid game, but I'm going to give them a chance. I'm going to give them that opportunity. Um Dembele, I don't know about him. I'm going to keep him in. He's now the deep line playmaker. Um, I thought having a box to box was it was just uh, leaving us too open uh, away anyway. So I've changed that up a little bit. And uh, Greg McVitie's back. He won't play the whole game, but he he's in. Simple as that. So there have been a few changes, and um, I'm hoping that these changes can spur something on. We are at home today, and even a draw could be vital, considering Inter did draw the last game against Anderlecht. Um, so, the team. Sterling, Motta, Woolley, Christie, Dembele, Thompson and Nori, McVitie, Avramides and McPhee. Uh, Rudden's on the bench for Douglas Costa, Fortunus and a couple of the defenders. Mackay's there, just, uh, you never know when uh, you need a, a last-minute screamer and he's capable of that. We've all, we all know it, we've all seen it. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. They've got Felipe on. Uh, hopefully, if we do lose, that we own Real Madrid. Yes, we do. If we do lose, that Inter don't win. Um, if they do, it's not the end of the world but it could be very dangerous because Inter would play us and Real Madrid and we would have to beat Inter then to qualify uh, if not probably Europa but we'll see we'll see how it goes at the moment we're, we're uh, controlling possession but they get the first highlight we're only 8 minutes in but we've got 71% possession so Maybe a couple of the changes are showing through now. Dembele, Nori, Sterling, Christie, McPhee. Yes, come on. It's our ho it's it's our away form. I don't get it. But like I said, it could be the players as well. The changes that I've made on the wings um, could be the issue. But I've also kept the normal tactic in. There's a couple of things at play here. I'm obviously mixing it up. Maybe we didn't need a new tactic. Maybe we just needed a stronger defence. Who knows? Who knows? But as it stands, A, we're sitting in second, and B, we're controlling the game. Aphromedes has got a face injury. It's fine. He he won't be as pretty, but he's, he'll be fine. Oh, he's got a five head anyway. So, uh, yeah, he's not pretty. Anyway, Dembele. Thompson, Nori, Avramides gets barged then. It looked like that should have been a penalty. It was definitely uh, definitely got in his way. But they're coming at us and that's a poor shot by Herter. I think it was Herter. And Silva collects it. 
It's gone. We haven't. Well, they've had two clear cut chances. It look, doesn't look like they're putting it away. They're scared. The Rangers faithful are scaring them. You, you Scots can be scary, scary when you want to be. Avramides, McVitie, Dembele. Ooh. Yeah, between the Scots and the Germans, I would say when when it comes to football, you like like Dortmund fans. I remember watching. I think it was Arsenal Dortmund, and it was just yeah. Anyway, one nil at half time. I didn't even look at the uh, the inter result, but. Ratings are a little bit better. Jack Thompson's on 6.5. Don't, his morale's not that great at the moment, but, you know, maybe it might it might be time to um, think about a new a new midfielder to replace Jack Thompson. Um, he will just be a Rudden and Mackay, sit on the bench and uh, see out his days, play again here and there. But they're all going to see out their days at Rangers. I want them to become staff members. And, um, yeah, Inter are actually drawing to Anderlecht, so this is the best possible scenario for us at the moment. Avramides is on a 6.6, .6, so he is going to come off. He's playing that complete forward role, and he's not completely comfortable in it. I'm training him in it. Uh, he's got the stats other than a couple, Sterling. McVie, ooh. Um, so, yeah, I think he could eventually become a very good complete forward we're going to put Rudden on Sterling's feeling it but he's on a 6.8 Dembele and Thompson the midfield all together aren't doing that great um, I haven't really got anybody that I like in that ball winning midfielder role than, other than Jack Thompson so what do I do to mix this up let's put Fortaunas for on for Dembele let's do that Right, Nori with the corner. It's uh, gone to Rudden, just on the pitch. Out right to Nori again. McPhee knocks it on for Taunus. Can he do anything? No, he cannot. And Inter is still being held by Anderlecht. McVitie hoofs that. Bazaar. Berardi. Bazaar again. Berardi. Oh, right, Christie with the great tackle. Nori takes it, hoofs it to Rudden. He takes on one. Takes. Oh! I thought he was going to take on the second, but he cheekily passed it. And Jack McPhee, 2-0. We are beating Real Madrid 2-0. Admittedly, at home, again. If we can sort out our, our, our away form, if we can sort that out and bolster things up while we're, whilst we're away, then I think we could do something. We really can push. But our away form has been letting us down for a couple of seasons. It's just not been showing in the Scottish League. It's only just showing now. And I think that's what's spurring on me to make changes. Wooden! 3 now. Come on. Screw you, Real Madrid. Come on. Rangers FC. Oh, Jack McPhee gets tackled there. Wooden pounces on the ball. And he slots it. Oh, he didn't even slot it. He pulled it into the roof of the net. 3-0 to Rangers. Thank you very much. Very happy. And Inter are still... Oh, if Inter draw and we manage to win, we've got this. Well, I say we've got this. We've got a, we've got Inter at home. We can do it. Rudden. Christie. He's tackled. And that's his second yellow card. And that should be it. Game over. That should be it. Can we demolish Real Madrid? Hopefully, if we can upset their morale a little bit when they um, when they go to into or wherever that, you know, I think Anderlecht's their first game, which is disappointing. I wouldn't mind them playing into after this because Inter might have a chance, but you never know what's going to happen. They've got three. No, no, they've got three. They've got one. It is three one. Eighty third minute with ten men as well. That's. Mm, Complacent that I'm going to put that down to complacency. Is mm, both centre backs are in position, but none reacted the way they should have. Nori for Taunus spreads it to Sterling, but doesn't collect. Rodriguez Galson passing it around nicely. They're playing better with ten than they were eleven. The old uh, yeah, it's a uh, Nori 
Come on, get a fourth if you can. McVitie, Thompson, for Townus, McPhee. Passing it around nicely, controlling the player like this. Nori, Christie, whips it. McPhee hits the crossbar. The fans sound their appreciation. They are loving this. The Ibrox is booming at the moment. They're probably playing bloody Flowers Scotland, painted their faces blue. They're loving it, absolutely loving it. I can imagine it now. Beating Real Madrid, 3-1. Hopefully, oh, yeah, hopefully it stays 3-1. Inter have taken the lead. That's problematic. But we still need to play. It's still in our hands. If we beat Inter and Anderlecht, we go through. We go get second. Oh, no, 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 no. 3-2. I'm going defensive. 89th minute this time. In the last, since they got down to 10 men, they've gone for that. That's, that's a load of crap. Galson heads it, hits the post, comes off the post, hits his head, and falls perfectly for the striker. I don't think so. That just doesn't happen. Fingers crossed, this is a pointless highlight. Sterling, get the ball. You are joking. You are joke seriously. You having me on? Ten men Real Madrid score three goals. As soon as they go down to ten. What the hell is this crap? Nobody played badly. It wasn't on the players. That's why I didn't take anybody off, by the way. If, if anybody, you know, I obviously made the two subs at 60, but... Wow. That's terrible. I'm... I'm oh, into one as well. What was our result against Inter? Um, let's have a quick look. We lost to them 4-1. So that means if we can beat them 3-0, I believe away goals kick in. I get when it comes to head-to-head because -head, the goal difference doesn't really matter. It's down to the head-to-head. -head. And naturally, if we beat Inter... But if we beat Inter, they've still got to beat Real Madrid. So there's still that chance of second. Um, is anything confirmed yet? No. Uh, the only thing confirmed is that Inter and Real Madrid will be getting at uh, top three. Um, so annoying. Very. Um, Real Madrid are actually confirmed top two because we can't overtake them. Because they beat us and drew to us. Anyway, that's enough. That's enough of that. Very disappointing. Um, it looked promising, though. Inter actually play Real Madrid next. We've got Anderlecht and then Inter. So the big game will be the last game. Next episode, those two games. Let's hope, eh? Let's hope. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Damn it.